Welcome back to my mono bug run for Pokemon Crystal. I suppose it's time to make our way over to Violet City. Which honestly will probably be a bit of a pain in the butt, because bug Pokemon really don't pack that much of a punch. Although I do have Butterfree in reserve if we need it. Confusion power all the way, you know? Yeah, I know. Butterfree's probably gonna be able to hold this team together for forever, let's face it. But, it'll be nice while it lasts, I suppose. I do have a soft spot for Butterfree, and yes, the B stands for brown. For those that really want to know, okay? I'm not sure how long, you know, the brown recluse will stay out there with its poisonous thing, but hey. We'll see how far it takes us. At least it got poison off early on. It's always nice to see that go off. Come on. Darn it. Just short. I suppose I should use Scary Face on it to slow it down a bit, but whatever. Okay, that takes care of Joey at least. Huh, I wonder if he's related to Joey Wheeler. He's just as big of a loser after all. Yeah, I'm a trainer, alright. A trainer on a mission. From the world's greatest bug master. I know, it's not a great dream. Because bugs are terrible for the most part of this generation. Um, there's Heracross, at least. And Scyther can do in a pinch, and Pinsir's not awful, but... Now, um, quality bug Pokemon out there is pretty low in this gen. Though I suppose Brown Recluse can learn some interesting moves like Psychic later on, but I seriously doubt I'm going to take it. Um, I'll have to double check its special attack stat, but I don't think it's going to have a high enough one to really justify having Psychic. No matter how potent the move is. Oh, you want to use a rat Tata, huh? Well, use your little rat. I don't care. I've slain so many rat Tatas over the years, it's just sort of just mind numbing to think about it. Ah. Uh, trying to lower my defenses, huh? Well, it's definitely going to make an impact with that. Ah, darn it. And we're sort of switching orders, too. Shoot. Brown Recluse may not last past some second battle here. Oh, it got lucky. Well, luck counts for stuff, you know. Sort of like when Sabrina dodged two hyper beams when I was fighting her earlier in Moemon. Sometimes the RNG gods favors you, what can I say? Yeah, I know how it goes. Ah, yes, a fellow bug trainer, albeit one that's not as good as I am. Though that's probably to be expected. Very few really are. Ah, Caterpie. Well, prepare yourself for my poison sting. Eh, ah, critical hit, huh? Darn, Caterpie, that was kind of pathetic. Well, I suppose Caterpie's never really been a powerhouse. Ah, we're inching ever closer to death. Now to finish it off. We may have to bring out Ladybot at some point. Another Caterpie, huh? Well... We might just eke out another win here. Honestly, I figured Spinrock would have been knocked off by now. I honestly didn't think Brown Recluse would get this far. Because Spinarak's got... Not the best stats out there, to be honest. But, I figured I'd take it anyway. I figured it would be an interesting option, at least, if nothing else. Well, let's keep moving forward, I suppose. Man, you really need to get some better bugs, man. You need to put some levels on them. Now what? Oh yeah, I forgot to talk to her. Okay. 
Even if you don't talk to her, she'll still call you and ask, I suppose. Well, let's keep going. Well, this will probably be a short episode, because, like I said, I just want to get to, um, Violet City. Um, uh, let's see. A bitter berry, huh? A cure for confusion, but there's no one out here that even has a Pokemon that can really spam confusing abilities anyway. Yeah, I'll battle with you. I suppose it'll pad out the episode a little bit. There's not much other reason to fight him. <sighs> I figured, you know, I might want some more levels before I try and take on, you know, the gym. I may end up going up to get Flash. I suppose that's a bit of an odd choice, but in my opinion, it might make sense to do that anyway. Oh yeah, he's got basically nothing but level 2 Pokemon. Darn. I was hoping we get to see Labob. Wow. One point of damage. You may want to try something else. Or just straight up attack me instead of slowing me down. At least that way you could potentially knock me out. I am in a pre weakened state at the moment. Yeah, that's more like it. Hit me with those tackle attacks. That hurt for one point of damage, even one critical. Ah, two left to go. Will Brown Recluse fall, or will we make it to the city? Ah, oh, Weedle, huh? Well, down to one. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to finish you off effectively with Poison Sting, but I don't have any other options. Finally, Brown Recluse falls after going through so many battles. And yeah, I don't think we're going to be seeing Mr. Bumbles anytime soon. I haven't, you know, trained him up at all. I caught him while working on everyone else. And yeah, the G's there for Golden, a reference to a Yu-Gi-Oh card. Which um, is used for burn heal decks, albeit nowadays it's so outdated, um, you probably won't see too much of it. Burn heal as a concept just doesn't go as far as it used to. It's sometimes fun to mess around with, I suppose, in a more casual setting if you're playing a slower game with much older cards and archetypes. But, yeah, I couldn't see it being a very viable um, setup in today's game. You know what? Screw it. We'll send Mr. Bumbles out there anyway. It is a Caterpie, after all. And yeah, Bumbles is for Bumblebee. Which I suppose could be a double reference in this case. Both to, um, Bumblebee the Autobot, and to, um, Bumblebees, obviously. And yeah, I know, this is gonna slow down the battle quite a bit if I use, um, Mr. Bumbles here, but, you know, he could use the experience. Definitely wouldn't use them if I go after um, Flash, though. Because I'd be running into all those Bell Sprouts. They'd be hitting me with um, ineffectual attacks, but being part poison, I couldn't hit them very hard either. Ugh. The dark side of being a poison type Pokemon like Mr. Bumbles here. And see, so you've evolved, you don't learn any good moves. And even then, Beedrill's um, not that strong anyway. I guess I can take his phone number, though. Hmm. Yeah, I know about that. <sighs> I find all kinds of berries. Okay. He also can call you for battles, too. And honestly, I'm more interested in the whole um, fighting concept than anything else. After all, he is worth a bit more experience than, you know, the Pokemon I can find in the wild, so it is a plus to take there. Ah, uh, hoot hoot. A Pokemon that I can't think of a use for. I want to use it, but at the same time, I can't think of anything good I could do with it. Ugh, it's a bind. 
Darn, I may have to pull out Monarch for this fight. Yeah, we really may have to go into Monarch. Just to take out a stinking Hootoo from the wild. That's just sad. <sighs> I'll try and go as far as I can, though. <sighs> Crap, my attack's been lowered even more. Well, I'll keep chipping at it. I'm not expecting much, though. More growling? Seriously? How many more growls are you gonna drop on my golden ladybug before you just finish me off? You tried, but you just weren't up to the task. That's the problem with Ladybots. Special attacks are much better attack stat, but uh, it doesn't really learn any unless you use TMs. And we're not far enough in the game to really get access to the ones it can learn anyway. We'd have to get the Goldenrod first. Well. We've reached our destination, I suppose. Till next time, then. See ya.